One fine day, Penampi went to the river to catch salmon when a crow flew from upstream, perched on a tree and cried, I want to eat salmon soup. I want to eat salmon soup. Hearing that, Penampi chose the biggest fish among the fish he caught, washed it and gave it to the crow, saying, You must have a father and mother at home, right? Bring it home and invite your parents to eat together. The crow was happy and let the heavy salmon fly away. The next day, while Penampi was catching fish, a beautiful girl he had never seen before walked away. Came and said, follow me. Penampi was surprised but also followed her. After a while, I saw a house made of wood in a place where no one had ever thought there was any house. The girl entered the house very naturally. Penampi also followed in and saw a very beautiful old couple sitting by the fire. Next to where the old man sat there was a cutting board, on which was the salmon that Penampi had given the crow. The salmon in number 39's head is placed towards the fire god at the stove. Penampi looked around the house in surprise. The house is filled with lacquered boxes containing jewels and jewels carved in the shape of crows. The old man slowly spoke, I am the king of the crows. But because of old age and weak health, I cannot even earn my own food. Having to live on my only daughter. Yesterday, my daughter came to you, just saying in quat, want to eat salmon soup in quat which you gave to the biggest fish. I am very grateful. To thank you, I send you a small gift. Please take him home. On the way back, if the dog cannot jump over the trees that have fallen due to the strong wind, give him one and a half dango cakes, leaving half for you to keep going. Penampi takes the dog and brings a bag full of dango cakes. About. On the road, the two indeed continuously encountered fallen tree trunks. Although the tree trunk was not very big, because the dog was still small, it could not cross it. Every time like that, Penampi took out Dango from the bag and gave one and a half to the dog, but he only ate half. Just like that, the two finally arrived home. The sky became dark. The surroundings fell asleep. Only the crow god and number 39's little dog kept running around the house. At such times, the sound of something falling can be heard. It continued like that until morning. In the morning, Penampi looked closely and saw that the things the little dog dropped last night were gods. The crow god and number 39. S coins fell all over the floor. Penampi gathered it all together, he became a rich man, lived comfortably, lacking nothing. One day, Penampi living at the end of the river came to Penampi and Hash 39. S house and axe, how can a person who used to be as poor as me be now? Become so rich? Penampi replied, Go inside and eat something first. Then I and number 39, LL tell you the truth. I and number 39, they heard and know everything. Penampi said while viciously urinating on the doorpost of Penampi and hash 39, S house, then left. Penampi imitated Penampi went to the right section of the Penampi River to catch salmon and started catching fish. Then a crow flew from the upper river and cried, I want to eat salmon soup. I want to eat salmon soup. Hearing that, Penampi took the tiny fish, which had just laid all its eggs so it didn't and hash 39. Tea look appetizing, used sand to rub the fish and threw it at the crow. The crow reluctantly let the fish fly away. The next day, Penampi was waiting in the same place when a beautiful girl came and said, Follow me. When Penampi followed, 
They came to a wooden house, looking seems to be where the gods reside. He followed the girl into the house and saw a beautiful old couple sitting by the fire. Next to where the homeowner sat there was a cutting board, on which was a tiny, ugly salmon, crushed by sand that Penampi gave to the crow yesterday. The fish and number 39's head points towards the fire god. The crow god did not say thank you, but showed him the small dog and the bag of dango cakes and said, when this little dog cannot jump over the fallen tree trunks in the middle of the road, give him one and a half cakes, and you ate half a piece. Penampi happily took the dog home. But after only walking for a while, the little dog could not even cross the tiny tree trunk, it kept struggling. Every time like that, Penampi turned around and kicked the dog and gave it half a dango and ate one and a half for himself. Just like that, the two returned home. When it was dark, everything around them fell asleep. Then the crow god and number 39's little dog kept running around the house. From there came the sound of something falling. That sound continued until morning. Penampi waited nervously, hoping for the morning to come soon. When it was completely bright, Penampi was sure the house was full of magic coins, so he didn't and hash 39. T wear any clothes and just jumped up. But all around was dog feces, and Penampi and hash 39's body was covered in feces. And quat, that and number 39's why, whether it and number 39. As for crows or other animals, the food must be chosen in a good place and washed thoroughly. And Quat, Penampi said so. Disappear. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.